This idea of alignment is one that really has gone back to the original philosophers who thought about what the meaning of life is anyway. Hmm. So Aristotle, who was the first one to say that the purpose of life is to be happy, used the idea of alignment to discuss what a virtue is and, and, and how a person should live in general. And the way he did that was through what he called the the rule of the, the golden mean. And so um, what is a virtue Aristotle said that it is the center point between two vices. And so, for example, uh, courage is a virtue. But if you are just rash in the way that you go into dangerous environments, that's actually a vice. And I think he called that um, like being brash or being, um, I forget the word that, that he used. He talked about recklessness. Recklessness, maybe, yeah. yeah. Um, but on the other side, you don't want to be too timid because then you're going to miss out on um, on things that you could have done in your own life, but also, you know, ways that you need to stand up for others or protect others or everything you think about when you think about courage, right? Yeah. So what's interesting about that all, is- All things in moderation, right? Like Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a balance there. And so when you can align your actions in the middle, that's when you're hitting virtue. You can't do that all the time. It's, it's this idea of perfection. Um, but it also relieves some pressure when you think about alignment because- just because you're not perfect, which none of us are, you can still think about yourself as closer to the center versus farther away. And then in your your lack of perfection and your imperfections, you can still be very good. And at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to be good people in general. Mm -hmm.